Handling, precision control. Three out of three stars, one speed zone again. Alrighty, there we go. Just a little bit of a freestyle there. I thought I would throw that up real quick. Um, this thing was a lot of fun. I did get a little bit carried away trying to just continue it on. Uh, these roads, I'll say it a million times, right? These roads are very awkward. They honestly are. They're, they're very squared up. So you'll get like a really nice corner and then it, it's got this little long straight and then it's back into another corner and it's, it's not even long enough to do a proper munji. You have to do like a handbrake short munji and it's horrible you lose all your speed it's not the best uh these roads to be honest they're not the best style roads they're not really nice and flowing like i said they it's just, it's just really awkward to try and get some really long smooth lines in this game and i did actually have a comment guys <clears throat> Alrighty, how's it going guys i'm solar bennett and welcome back to another drift tune here on forza horizon 5 today i'm going to be looking at the 2008 formula drift RTR Mustang. This thing is a beast, man. It honestly is. And I thought I would throw on the Adam LZ livery because if you don't know, he just joined Team RTR, which is insane. Um, I think he's going to fit in real well there. He is super talented and um, it's going to be awesome to see what he does in Team RTR. But to be honest, I think it's going to be a huge shock to a lot of people because I've seen him in a few of these cars in the past, such as like LS1s and stuff like that and S14s. And he did so much better than his S15. And even when it was, his S15 was brown, I always said that he just does not look comfortable in the S15. He, as much as he loves the car, he just does not fit the car. It doesn't. It's not his car. So um, it's going to be great to see him in something different. And hopefully, he can find something which is a little bit more smoother. Because if you guys have seen him in his uh, BMW, you know how good he is in that, right? He loves that car, and he doesn't have any complaints. For the most part but when it comes to his s15 it's always an issue with something and he over rotates all the time and he, he goes in too fast he, uh, it's just always a mess so i think it's um it's well overdue for him to upgrade to something a little bit more comfortable for him not so crazy flashy when it comes to his liveries and stuff so i think it's a good idea i think it's a good move and i can't wait to see it but um back to this car in the game this thing's a lot of fun it's great for getting up those points if you guys are struggling for points, this is definitely a car you want to use. <coughs> and the reason for that is because it's got tons of power. And that's uh, what you need for it, for the most part. Because the, the car, the, not the cars, the corners in this game are very odd. They are very squared up, so you'll get a very tight left-hand turn. And then it goes into a small straight, which is just not long enough to link up to the second corner. But it's also not long enough to do a munji to link it up into the next corner. So you find yourself doing this break slash handbrake um, correction halfway through and it's horrible you lose all your speed there's a lot of corners like that which I don't like there's also a lot of corners in the game which are too long and just don't have the right bend on them and you find yourself constantly clutch kick, uh, clutch kicking pushing yourself to go out wider and all sorts it's it can be a bit difficult I'm not gonna lie that the roads could have been a little bit more planned out to be honest but um, yeah it is what it is just trying to make the most of it to be honest so uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this build i'm just going to go ahead and pop it up on the screen right here for you Alrighty, there you go i actually can't remember if anyone shouted this one out i think i just wanted to do it because it was a lot of fun but uh i've got a few requests in the next ones that are coming up but the first few that are coming up are pretty much just youtube cars um youtubers and stuff like that so um yeah but with that said guys i'm going to end the video here hopefully you enjoyed this build don't forget to check it out if you haven't already i've got tons on my channel and uh, I've got tons to come as well. So um, with that said, don't forget to subscribe. We'll tap that like button, all that stuff. And I'll catch you in the next one.